Hey folks, Chuck here. Um, I'm going to tell you another little story in my life. I hope you don't get too bored. I'm, I'm kind of feeling compelled to do this. Uh, and before you guys start sending me PMs and commenting, oh, I hope you're okay and all this stuff, uh, I'm, I'm about ready to go under the knife um, in the in the I was just gonna say in the second house which is uh, in the hospital uh, I I'm, I'm sort of facing uh, an operation maybe two uh, nothing I'm not used to I have arterial sclerosis I've already had a bypass in my leg and andioplasties and stuff and it looks like I might have to have uh, uh, a couple more bypasses but what this does is it makes me a little uh, introspective in my life and um, so I hope I don't bore you with these stories actually I wish some of you would uh, also make some videos about things that have happened in your life it, it, it gives those of us who care to see why someone thinks the way they do why they react the way they do and stuff well this is a story if you saw my last uh, uh, post um, we're gonna go back down to Fairview Tennessee uh, um, you know in my youth uh, uh, my mother's from Tennessee from Fairview Tennessee I, uh, grew up dirt poor uh, dirt poor farmer um, we would go down from when before I could remember until I was about 12 years old we would go down for our summer vacations um, I would help on the farm and I'd play with my cousins and you know stuff like that so this is a story of something I did and the punishment I got now you know, to sort of uh, uh, set this up, my grandmother, especially, was um, was a God-fearing woman, not God-loving, God-fearing woman. And now this is this happened around 1960, 1961. I was I was I think eight years old or so and um <clears throat> so I'm down there with my 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 brother is two years older than I am my my cousin Tommy was three years older than I am and uh, my cousin Tommy too he looked just like Glenn Campbell and could sing like Glenn Campbell at least it seemed that way you know when I was eight years old or when I was a little kid but uh, you know down a Fairview you could buy fireworks on a daily basis so it was no big deal and I remember I could buy those packages of of uh, firecrackers for like a nickel you could also buy what we called M80s and we would like probably say ah they're a quarter of a stick of dynamite I don't think they were a quarter of a stick of dynamite but they were they were pretty big and we would fool around with fireworks we'd empty out the gunpowder and make trails of gunpowder on the you know on the ground and blow things up and you know stuff like that well this house um, that we visited my grandmother and grandfather's house uh, it had electricity but it had no running water and all of our water came from a well now I know we all think of wells as being this big thing and you send a bucket down this was a well about this far around you know iron sleeve went down you know I might guesstimate about a hundred yards down to the down to the groundwater we would send this uh, long anodized metal thing held about two gallons two buckets of water would send it down you could hear it gurgle, you'd pull it back up, we'd carry the buckets back to the house. So uh, my cousin Tommy, he goes, uh, 
Chuck, uh, take one of the M80s and uh, light it and throw it down the well. It'll uh, it'll make this big bang. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, sounds great. So I light the M80. And I watch that fuse goes down so we can really get a good bang it's like that far from igniting throw it down the well I hear ding 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 I can remember it like yesterday ding 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 maybe 15 feet down bang it sounds like a cannon going off I look around and Tommy and my brother are nowhere to be found I look down the path it was about a 50 foot path to the house to the to where I was standing at the well and my grandmother is walking firmly up the path towards me and in that split second I realized you know Chuck what are you a, what are you an idiot she doesn't say a word and this is at a time, or maybe maybe it's a time in my family, that grandmothers and grandfathers were the law. When my mother and I, or my brother, or my mother and my brother and I went down to Tennessee, um, all authority was uh, handed over to my grandmother. So she came up that path, and she grabs the back of my neck I I could feel it she lifted me off my feet like I was a cat like you know how you carry a cat by the scruff of their neck carried me down that one hand carried me down that path to the front of the house where a beautiful I used to climb in it a beautiful willow tree grew provided shade for the for the house and she uh, looked right in my eyes and she the first thing she said to me was pick the switch that equals the punishment that you deserve for what you did and I picked a big switch and uh, as I was picking it she said we can't drink from the well we have no water now for a few days until what you did is gone we can't drink from the well we have no water so I picked a uh, big switch and, and she was a woman of very few words and she she took this pocket knife out of her pocket flipped it open cut the very switch that I picked and took her time cutting every leaf off of the switch so it it turned out to be maybe six feet long when she was done leaves were gone and at the time we ran around naked basically I had shorts on or something and she said uh, lay over this table and I laid over that table and she uh, beat me with that switch until I was seeing right I was seeing stars the worst punishment though was when she was uh, cutting the switch off the tree and I remember looking up when I was getting getting whipped and my mother just standing on the uh, on the front porch and, and she had to walk in the house she couldn't take it anymore And then my mother, my grandmother, took that switch after she was done and uh, 
she broke it into pieces about this big and uh, she stayed out there and started burning it and she burned it until it was gone and then went in the house and never said another word about the whole incident well lesson being I know what it's like to get the hell beaten out of me literally beaten out of me and don't throw M80s down the well I'll talk to you guys later